Hello everyone, welcome to E-Times. Uh, I'm here talking to Amit Saad today. Uh, it's going to be an interesting conversation. We're going to look back at 2022. We're going to look ahead at 2023 and a whole lot more. So let's get into that. Hi Amit, how are you doing? Hi Rachet. Hi, good to uh, finally do this and I appreciate your patience. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So before we set on this chat, uh, I, I, I really appreciate your patience. I know we had to cancel a few times. But no, let's make it up. No problem. Up no problems. Amit, my first question has to be, I, I think you've had a fantastic 2022. I mean, I mean, the, I, probably the highlight has to be uh, Breathe Season 2 because, you know, I really loved the show. Uh, great reactions as well. But uh, how do you look back at this year? I mean, what were your high points? What were your highlights? And what were your learnings, most importantly? Uh, I have a different set of philosophies for this, but I don't like looking back. Okay. But, but, uh, uh, for the chat sake, for a conversation uh, sake, and to kind of bring the positivity and the happiness from looking back, I'm up, I'm up for it. Um, this year, to be honest, uh, uh, um, for me, it was very tricky, you know, um, because, uh, Filming breathe is not easy, mm. you know, and uh, I think, so I just, I, I remember that we were filming in, in Jan and uh, we had to shut shop, you know, and uh, as actors, yeah, we are very privileged. When we shut shop, it's very easy, you know, we, we have uh, families and friends and uh, savings and uh, we have insurances of life, you know, but when a normal person, a normal hair makeup guy, you know, set setting dadas and uh, spot boys, and when they shut shop, it's I. I mean, I'm sure they must be having savings, but they don't have such a luxurious. They don't have insurances of life. So, um, so when I look back, I see that, and then from that, I see work begin in full force, and the big. You know, movie business is just not about the stars or the big actors. Mm. Movie business is big. It has media people. It has reporters, it has uh, people who make movies. So as a whole, uh, I think um, what makes me happy when I look back is uh, work started, it begun, and everyone was on the job with so much eagerness, enthusiasm, and with so many stories, so many horrific stories, and so much, uh, just so much of exuberance and hope ki I, you know, ki things are getting better. You know, you know, cheeses shuru ho rahi hai. Hmm. So... For me, that, that's one biggest thought when I think about the last year and the last couple of years. And um, personally, um, uh, personally, it's just been work, you know, and uh, finish breathe and breathe release, and now just been filming. Um, just feel very grateful, you know, that there's work and I'm getting to work with good people, and uh, yeah, that's about it. Okay. Okay. You know, it's a very interesting conversation that, I mean, I've seen your recent interviews, but I really liked how you were so enthusiastic and you were so upbeat about, you know, having your films released in theatres. So is that something you're looking forward to in 2023? Is that the big plan going ahead? That's, uh, Rachid, that is human tendency, right? Um, I'm a very, very, uh, I'm a person who is by nature very grateful. Hmm. So I'm very grateful that my movies have been coming on OTT. I'm grateful for the few web series that I've done. But I'm a greedy human being. I'm not going to stop. You know, I'm an artist. I'm an actor. And I'm a, I'm a person who wants more. And I think the last movie of mine that released in theaters was Gold in 2018. I've not had, a, I mean, I had, uh, yeah, actually, that's it. Yeah. And after that, I've not had a, a movie come out. So I will be, uh, that's a thought, that's an aim, that's an ambition, uh, a hunger that I have. I, I, want, I want to make movies that come on screen. I also want the, the cinema watching audience to go and experience my film and my story. Hmm. And we are working, I'm working on a few scripts, uh, I'm working on a few movies. Hmm. And, uh, and I want to entertain the audience there as well. Right. You know, and uh, there's nothing wrong in having this greed or this thought. Definitely. You know, this 
you know this is what keeps me up at night or this is what wakes me up at 4 in the morning to go work right. hard and create movies and that's why we all are here in this business right right you know gordon gecko said greed is good so yeah but i say greed is essential <laughs> <laughs> but amit when when you are a creative artist uh, when you are an actor how important is that greed i mean and and the reason i'm asking you this is because you know just this morning i watched a lot of videos on cristiano ronaldo i don't know why my timeline just threw that at me and the one thing that really sort of stood out at me was you know he's obsessed with being the number one you know and that is his driving force so in terms of pure create not no comparisons here but in terms of pure creative pursuits that greed does that sort of drive you every day because it it sort of it sort of puts you out of your comfort zone it sort of pushes you into territories that you would not explore i mean i'm just trying to explore your mindset over here when you say well it's a great, it's a great question it's a great it's a great uh, thought to ponder on it's mm-hmm. a great thought to think about uh, first of all personally i think for me my greed comes with hunger okay you know my greed doesn't come with ambition huh hmm. not that if you are chasing ambition there's something wrong Hmm. Uh, I've come to an understanding in life. We all have a specific meaning of the words that we use to trigger ourselves, to defend ourselves, to find ourselves. Um, Ronaldo is a great player. He's one of the greatest players of all time. So let's just stop that debate, you know. And Messi is as well. And there are so many other players. I mean, there's no one and two. Like, are you going to just say there are two great actors in the world or in, in India? No. no, you know. Uh, I think media kind of. uh capulets you know infuses more fire to this debate and it sells and the world cup is still fresh i think i'm sure after 6 months this will die and they will be like who's the greatest cricketer and this will carry on for life what i'm more interested in is the the thought that you've raised that is it okay is it okay to have greed is it okay mm. to have hunger is it okay to have ambition you have to put your own meaning to it. you know you have to put your own meaning to it and for me like i said for me greed comes from hunger mm. the greed comes from hunger and <clears throat> and it is peaceful mm. you know so if your actions and your wants are not giving you peace then you got to realign buddy you know because the eventual goal of a human body aim the purpose is to find peace mm. and for my experience in life for whatever it is i've realized when i'm nice mm. when i'm genuine when i have empathy and compassion when i work hard when i am selfless there are two there are set of uh functions when i function from that i am doing well i'm able to uh, achieve what i want and i'm happy with peace so for me uh all this has to come together hmm. you know so that's that's the meaning i have. so when i say i have this greed that i want to do well it's a greed that i have to work on day and night while being nice to people right while being ethical while following a set of values and not compromising in that not compromising in how i treat people not compromising how i am dedicated to my craft or to my work or to my people um so for me it's a blend of many things it's just like life is just not like you know like one way and one thought and one track hmm hmm okay again another thing that you know always has sort of intrigued me amit is in especially in india we sort of we sort of, we never see different dimensions to actors and our stars you know we will we will see them in cinema we will probably see them in television but how many times do we see an actor doing something that is you know outside the purview of their career so is that like i mean those extra curricular pursuits if you may call them that i are those sort of do you sort of tend to do that more and and the reason i'm asking you this is because your passion for motorcycles is is known to all so you know are those Same. are those passions you know places where you sort of find extra growth or sort of an extra experience so to speak uh i would not be i'm not in a position to talk about others <clears throat> you know and uh, i also feel we become our experiences mm. also a product of our upbringing and uh, what we did when in our childhood 
I think for me, I would say I was very uh, active and fit. Uh, my younger age, so I used to play a lot of football, sports, biking, cycling. Just everything was outside. Uh, not not pinpointing, but I think today's generation and the scenario and the atmosphere, even people play football, but on the iBox, you know, and everything is on Instagram. And, and, and I think all this technology, which we were supposed to use for our betterment or to connect better is actually uh, invading our lives and health. So I have very strong views on that. Uh, for me, uh, motorcycling, I have this hat. I would, maybe I'll wear it for you next time or gift it to you. It says motorcycling changed my life. Nice. You know, so nice. it just says it all. It did. And uh, what it does to me is, uh, um, it, it keeps me sane. It keeps me connected to normal people. You know, and um, um, and other actually, like, I like skiing a lot. Though I'm not the best skier in the world, but I, I aspire to, hmm. I aspire to uh, get better at skiing and maybe one day do a shot, do do my shot, like you know, do a film which needs skiing and then do it on my own without using a body double. Um, so I'm a huge fan of Tom Cruise, and when I see him spend ten years or twenty years or thirty years in his craft, in just not in acting but also in you know in the way he makes his movies it uh, inspires me it fascinates me you know um, and i just feel that's where the greed is so this is the greed <clears throat> so i'll go back you know the greed is this to become better to learn something new or as a, as an artist uh, not bore my audience as an artist i don't even want to bore you next time when you interview me i i want to be better i want to have i want i want to be able, able to have a more authentic genuine uh, transcending uh, and you know interesting conversation so the, for me that's the greed for me the greed is to keep moving to keep mm-hmm. changing to keep getting better and uh, and so far I think I've been able to be successful mm-hmm. in, in 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 doing that okay you know and uh, yeah and motorcycling is like it's it's yeah, it's, it's my first love. Only I think when I'm filming, it takes a backseat. And as soon as I'm done with the movie, the motorcycling is back. Right, right. It's it's lit up your face, man. I mean, I, I can see that <laughs> when I mention motorcycles, right. your face just I, I get in trouble. Everyone around me, people who are close to me, they say your face is so transparent. Yeah. And when you're happy, it shows. And when you're upset, it shows. And just everything is on my face. I can't hide it. Right, right. But that's a good thing, man. It's a good, uh, It's a good quality for an actor, no? Your face is your canvas. That's true. That's true. That's true. <laughs> um, Amit, I know you've mentioned about. I mean, I'm I'm assuming this this greed, this hunger that you've spoken about. It is it's it's a pursuit of growth. So, in terms of pure growth, looking at the future, you know, a lot of your peers have naturally sort of transcended into having their own production houses and sort of bringing their voice into the kind of narratives that they want to set out. So do you have those aspirations, you know, in the future? Can we see Amit Saad being a writer, a producer, a director? Have you thought about these things? Definitely. And uh, I I would definitely like to share with you that it's all in process right now. Okay. I'm kind of uh, actually been spending a couple of years now, hmm. quietly, on uh, just finding the right set of people. Uh, for me, I think what matters is the mindset to work with people who kind of uh, uh, will push you to be better and it, and people who, a band of people who you can go and make a great film with hmm. and have fun. So I'm in that process. I have formed a movie company and uh, uh, we are in a, you can say, very close stages of confirming a movie and working towards it towards it and like you said and what matters is that I can contribute more to such movies than just getting I'm not against that which is that's the process as an actor I get a script and I go got to go and do a part and I and I don't have too much uh, bandwidth in the way to affect a film you know so mm. um, that's but that that thought just I mean has been with me uh, but it's just not easy to land up and just start and make a movie or start producing it's it's a tough job right uh, but I think now uh, uh, I would say I've met a few people, a few friends, and conversations are on. You know, so. Okay. Okay. Looking forward to that. 
<laughs> yeah, me too. Me okay. Too. Um, I mean, I know you. You are on social media. Uh, I mean, you are you're there. But as a person, I mean, because see, when you're on social media, you have to put out, you know, a sort of a a part of your personality. You have to sort of be into the business of exhibition. So, do you identify with that? Because you feel like. You Sorry to don't... interrupt. You don't have to. Okay. You don't have to. That's the thing. That's the catch. That's the pressure. That's mm-hmm. the, the system wants to you to do that. Okay. The system wants to put fear in you so that you work according to the system. My uh, someone in my team two years back says you are not in the algorithm. Oh yeah. <laughs> and, I, and I being me and I, I don't want to use that word as a what. What is an algorithm? May I have a algorithm? Banana. Have we all become algorithms? So I'm an actor, I'm an artist. I'm here to make movies, act in them, or whatever. And uh, that was a young person, <clears throat> very close to me in my team. Your managers, your agents in India. This is the problem predominantly in India right now. I don't let all this affect me. Hmm. My only pro- my only concern in life is to be genuinely genuine, because I feel just being genuine is not enough. Hmm. Uh, my pro- my concern in life is to be authentic and transparent i do not have to prove to you that i am the best hmm. you know because i am not the best and i do not thrive to become the best that's not my problem okay you, know, you, you that will be a debate hopefully one day is the best you know, <laughs> people do it, it's but that cannot be your concern. I'm sure Ronaldo doesn't sit in his room and think, "Oh, I'm the best," or "Messi is the best." Because if he did, he wouldn't have scored so many goals. True, you know. So <clears throat> uh, too much has been given to uh, Instagram and all that. Uh, not that I don't use it. I think these are great tools to communicate to your fans. I have a few fans I follow. There are a few fans when I have time in and out of movies, I talk to them. I have a few of my fans, I have their numbers, I wish them on their marriages. There's a fan of mine who wants me to come and do uh, her father rites, like the, 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 the ritual her father does. And I am uh, hoping to do that. I've said yes. Uh, so for me, it's very simple, Rajat. We, are in the make, we make movies. We tell stories, our stories, our stories of struggle as human beings. And then we make movies about characters, and, you know, and, and stories that inspire people or entertain them or and so many other things. But eventually our job is to connect with people True. and with humans. So I can lie to you once, but then I'll feel bad about it. Hmm. So my rule is very simple. There's a long life. There's tomorrow, you know. So don't just, just be you, be authentic, be the real you, keep working hard and connect with people. So Instagram or any any digital or internet, it allows you to connect when you ha- I have time, I, I go, but I don't care about those. So many people, uh, people tell you, follows but you get a brand. So brand is not brand is not film. Mm. Luckily, I don't, I don't have that set of greed. My greed is with myself. My greed is with me. You know, and um, all this doesn't matter. And I tell people, don't spend so much time on internet. Don't spend time on Instagram. It'll ruin your life. Get out. Stand in the sun for an hour. Think. Row a boat. You know, go to a forest. Get lost. Make friends. Write to them. You know, and uh, uh, yeah, those are my views on that. And uh, I, I, I hope people can come out. We can leave our phones and come out and connect and touch each other and, and smile more and, and do something together, you know than just living a virtual life, which is, and then living that virtual life and then spending all your time, money and effort to live that lie, you know, and eventually one day your eyes are going to open. I hope it's not too late then. True. True. I mean, the sense of, the sense of spirituality, this, this sense of terror that you have, what is the source? Is it, was it your upbringing? Is it your parents? Your family, your friends, what? I mean, where do you place this source? First of all, I have to tell you, it's come, uh, it wasn't gifted to me. I did not get this on platter. Uh, um, but I'm very happy that I have this now. And I know I have it. 
so I would not like, pretend in front of you कि मुझे नहीं मालूम Uh, I think the biggest source, uh, Rachit, is my will. मेरी इच्छा थी कि मैं ऐसा बनूं. Okay. और मैं शुक्रगुजार हूं कुदरत का लोगों का दोस्तों का किताबों का. That the day I set my will, that I want to have peace, I want to have happiness, I want to be a certain way. The universe around me. <coughs> Excuse me. And. Uh, and the source is the same your source my source everybody's source is the same there's only one source we are we all are connected to the portal but the problem is we are lost in the digital portals hmm. you disconnect from the digital portals and you will connect with the source there is one source we all are connect i feel uh, uh, for me specifically uh, itcha मेरी इच्छा थी कि मैं खुश हूँ hmm. you know, और सिर्फ इच्छा से सब कुछ नहीं होता आप पहले कुछ डिसाइड करते यू मेक अ डिसीजन विच कम्स फ्रॉम योर विल आई वांट दिस आई वांट टू डू दिस एंड देन यू हैव टू वर्क हार्ड यू नो एंड दैट्स द प्रोसेस एंड फॉर दैट आई एनकरेज माय सेल्फ फॉर दैट आई आई डू दिस टू माई सेल्फ गुड जॉब अब गुड जॉब डेट गुड कैरी ऑफ कंटिन्यू रुकना नहीं है and uh, thank you for supporting that and i when i see people now and i meet especially youngsters with them i have a lot of a um, lot of love for youth and youngsters not that i'm very old i'm just 43 uh main jab chhota tha to i did not meet many people wo evolution i think nahi tha duniya mein us waqt sab sirf bhidte the aur ladte the dud kaatte the and uh, main apne aap ko lucky manta hu yaar ki main I could come and experience all the niceness and the goodness of the world. So I'm very con- not concerned, but I want to be there for the youth. If my experience or my movie or my way of talking or my sharing something, or my just like putting my hand on the shoulder and saying, "Kuch nahi is apni ko jayega," if that helps, I I, I want to be there. Okay, okay. You know, now that you've mentioned it, my mind has instantly gone back to your conversation on uh, Chetan Bhagat's podcast. It was a fantastic so- conversation. and uh, you. yeah and you know you mentioned uh, i mean you you sort of mentioned that you had a very dark phase when you were talking about sushant and you said that you had contemplated that big decision yourself and you know believe i mean i mean i'm sure you know amit in the industry right now uh, a young actress has taken her life for whatever reason yes, and this is a this is a this is a reality that it's it's there it's in it's staring in our faces since you've experienced this yourself and since i see this transformation in you you know what does it take to get out of that dark zone and and look at the light i mean i mean what is it that can inspire our youth or the people who are in that zone like you were in people the people around you people okay people we have to become better we have to become more warm more gentle uh I have been very fortunate. I've had good people in my life. Even the incident you are saying, I had few people who just randomly called me and they uh, spoke to me, and I was okay for few. I was okay in a few days. You know, mm. um, I have my Imran Bhai. You have your father. You have your mother. These are people in our homes. I feel as move, especially in the movie business, हम सबसे ज़्यादा वक्त बिताते हैं आपस में. बारह घंटे तक पे रहते हैं. So we actually Spend more time with each other than we spend with our family members. Sure. I got an off today after about three weeks. Okay, and I messaged, texted my friends, Christmas, New Year, few friends, and they didn't answer. So we don't spend time with our friends and family. We don't spend time with our friends and family. We don't spend time with our friends and family. We don't spend time with our friends and family. We don't spend time with our friends and family. We don't spend time with our friends and family. We don't spend time with our friends and family. उससे लोग बच जाते हैं जब इंसान को प्यार मिलता है तो उसमें उम्मीद आती है जब इंसान को दुदकारोगे उसको निराश करोगे उसके उसको उसकी निंदा करोगे तो उसकी लाइफ में दुख जब दुख आता है तो आदमी का दिमाग खराब हो जाता है तो वो गलत चीजें सोचता है मैं अपने अनुभव से बात कर रहा हूँ 
we just need to be nice with each other irrespective of star ho bade ho chote ho junior artist ho action uh, fighter ho setting wale ho we have to be nice mai us din ek breed ki promotion kar raha tha mai home studio ek hamare light man the jo short ruka aur kuch gir gaya tha wo bhag ke gaye aur ek setting टीम के जो लोग काम करते हैं वो उसको हेल्प करने खुद ही चले गए क्योंकि वो करीब थे और दो लोगों ने उनके ऊपर इतनी बदतमीजी से चलाया यू नो एंड मैं वहां पर शॉर्ट रूक दिया मैंने बोला क्योंकि मुझे फर्क नहीं मुझे अगर मैं इस इंडस्ट्री से मैं दुनिया से डरता नहीं गलत देखूंगा तो बोलूंगा प्यार से बोलूंगा दोबारा करोगे तो डांटूंगा मुझे निकालना है निकाल दो मुझे फिल्म नहीं देनी है नहीं देना मुझे बदनाम मुझे कुछ फर्क ही नहीं पड़ता मैं पहाड़ों में जाके Uh, गरीबों के साथ उनको एक्टिंग सिखाने लग जाऊंगा कुछ और कर लूंगा यू नो बट मुझसे और बर्दाश्त नहीं लेता आई जस्ट फील दैट एंड देन मैंने उनको समझाया मैंने कहा ये इंसान लाइट का है ये सेटिंग का काम करता है आपको एक्चुअली ताली बजानी चाहिए शुड क्लैप फॉर इट कि ही इज वर्किंग सो हार्ड एंड ही वेंट एंड रश एंड डिट समथिंग फॉर फ्रॉम अनदर डिपार्टमेंट सो दैट यू कैन शूट हाउ डेयर यू आर डूट तो एनीवे वो तो छोटी बात थी होगी खत्म है दिन ऑल दिस लाइट बैंड दे के एंड दे वाज सो दे वर क्राइंग जैसे आपको आईडिया नहीं है लोग हमसे इतनी बदतमीजी से बात करते हैं हमें तो लोग अनदेखा करते हैं मैंने कहा बस अब नहीं होगा ऐसा सो मैं एग्जांपल दे रहा हूं ये इस आपने सवाल पूछा रचित यू नो एंड आई एम ग्लैड दैट वी आर हैविंग दिस कन्वर्सेशन रादर देन हैपनिंग रादर देन दोस स्टूपिड क्वेश्चन हुज वन हुज टू हुज थ्री और ये क्या हुआ वो क्या हुआ उसके बारे में आपका क्या ख्याल है आई मीन बहुत हो गया यार 50 साल से वही चल रहा है कुछ अच्छी बात करते हैं जिसका कुछ तो निष्कर्ष निकले उसका कुछ रिजल्ट निकले या मजा है बात करने का सो आई एम ग्रेटफुल रचित फॉर फॉर यू ब्रिंगिंग अप सच कॉन्वर्सेशन क्रेडिट गोज टू यू एंड वेरी प्राउड ऑफ यू द एफर्ट दैट यू मेड टू ब्रिंग दीज थॉट्स एंड दीज क्वेश्चन फॉर दैम टू कम इन दोर फ्रंट एंड दस रीज आई एम नॉट ट्राइंग टू बी कंसाइस यू नो समाइम्स इज नाइस टू बी कंसाइस इन लाइफ बट आई थिंक right now uh, for such issues and such conversation we need to go in depth hmm. you know we need to converse we need to find and the biggest solution is that we need to be kinder with each other we need to be nice with each other and respect people there was respect 20 years back 30 years back 10 years back i don't know what's going wrong hmm. i don't know what's going and i see this on set every day people are so rude you know they're so rude and especially the working class people, they need more love you know uh, they need their lives are tough they work 14 16 hours on a film set and just everyone like actors and we we need to be first of all we need to correct ourselves and be role models mujhe lagta hai main actor isliye bana hu mujhe itna pyar milta hai to mujhe to aur pyar dena chahiye logo hum is line mein kyun aaye the bangla banane thoda aaye the yaar hmm gaadi aur khareedne thoda aaye the theek hai ab khareedo jio aapke sare shauk hai main bhi apne shauk pura karta hu but we came for people so we need to be great examples mm-hmm. you know we need to be ambassadors of love we need to be ambassadors of goodwill we need to be ambassadors we need to be nice people you know life is dark not just mine yours everyone's life is dark now how do we make it better for each other that's the thought that's the thought i live with every day and that's a very commendable thought man <laughs> it's nice it's nice acha amit what sort of films what sort of shows can we look forward to what is exciting in your career can you shed some light on that yeah i can just say i did an amazing movie right now with a bunch of such sweethearts rahul dukuna which i'm sure everybody knows has been a very big player right and producer and filmmaker uh, his play called pune highway nice. which has been a very successful english play and uh, it's also co-written and co-directed by box bhargav who I did Barrett House with and doesn't need any introduction um he's also like a mentor father figure to me so we are making this movie jim is in it so it's a, you know jim and me and arnapal you know um uh, and manjri and some new, some new actors and just a bunch of you know um great people so i finished that and now i'm in bhopal i'm doing this uh, amazing film with a set of actually new crew like uh, people who like who are new to the business of movies and a new director uh it's a story of an encounter specialist okay and how uh, and what's more about the psychosis and uh, their lives and finishing this and then I'm going to something else and then something else so uh yeah it's like a good merry 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 around 
you know, a bunch of good films to do, uh, good stories to tell. And uh, also working on a nice spy film as my first production uh, with a set of people. Nice. We're in the writing stage. Uh, we've got a very good writer. We've got one of the best writers in India uh, uh, kind of uh, uh, mentoring us, teaching us, helping us make a great script. So it's just it's, it's just films right now for me. Uh, and I just, uh, I just want to keep making good films, stories, uh, you know, uh, just play so many characters, you know, entertain my audience uh, and make them happy and just uh, be ordinary. I think the most powerful thing in life is to be ordinary. You know, we've been just fooled for 100 years that you have to be extraordinary. You don't have to be extraordinary. You just have to wake up every day and be ordinary. That is the new extraordinary. Nice, nice. Yeah, little, little more, Amit, little more of philosophy will become roomy, trust me. <laughs> <laughs> philosophy is good, bro. Philosophy, philosophy, philosophy is very good. Philosophy, you know, uh, philosophy. But it's not raja thing. Fighters, Jairo, Swami Vivekananda, and uh, uh, you know, you should, I mean, philosophies are good. Uh, philosophies are. Philosoph- I always think that philosophies and rituals are important. They keep you in check. True, true. I completely agree with that. And conversations like this. You know, they make you smile, they make you dig in and they make you, they enrich you, so, you know, because at the end of the day, uh, we are each other's psychiatrists. True. You know, sometimes you listen, sometimes you speak, you heal in both. Yeah. And the warmth is in touch. So when you meet people, I tell everyone, you meet people, hug them, touch them, shake their hands, touch their face, you know, and, and it can, things can get better. Things can get better. True, true. All right, Amit. It was lovely <laughs> chatting with you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. And more yeah. motorcycle yeah. diaries and more motorcycle trips in 20. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm doing, I'm doing, I'm riding from Bombay to Ladakh in June. Nice. Nice. Yeah. And and I'm going to meet my fans. I'm going to go tell people where I am. And I'm going to have coffee with them. And I'm going to touch them. I'm going to hug them. And I'm going to tell them how much I love them. And this is the plan. And I'm doing it 45 days on the bike. Lovely. Sounds and like no, like no and no nonsense. Just me alone and maybe with another friend of mine who wants to ride with me. And uh, so that's the plan, man. That's the plan. Sounds like it's, a great uh, plan, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you be well. I'll call you home. We should, we should, we should continue these talks on and off. The, definitely, definitely. Uh, on and on without without the job uh, that we are of entitled course. with. Of course, that's that as well. Of course. Okay, that's all right. right. Okay, man. Thank you so much. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. Take care. Bye.